Okay, it is a new day, which is why we're here. Inquisitor, the mines have been collapsed and the dark spawn in the area utterly destroyed. For a time, it looked as though we might have to join them. The Grey Wardens fought with unmatched bravery to clear us a path before the entire mountain fell upon us. The surviving wardens are remaining in the area to continue patrolling for Darkspawn. I thank the Maker for giving you the wisdom to spare the wardens and bring them to our service. While we fought the beast deep in the mines, we uncovered what Marquise Buffon must have been looking for. I have sent it to the Inquisition for safekeeping. May it serve us better than it would have served the treacherous Marquise. Griffin robes. Griffin robes? That's what she was after? Okay, we're gonna have to look at that. I guess it's old, um, Grey Warden armor? I don't know. Oh, these are the resources. Oh, we got a bench accessory. Okay, interesting. That's right, I put her on resources. I was hoping that the Emerald Graves would open up, but really didn't open up anything. This is saying we didn't investigate Elven Ruins? Okay, we'll come back to that. Compliments to your spy master. She is a resourceful woman. Once she traced our agent to Kamina Brea, the match was ruled in her favor. Tell Sister Liliana to call off her dog, save them for Corypheus. We suspect also that she's gotten all she can from Sir Hemluth. A caterpillar on a leaf does not know there is a forest about him. You will hear no more from us. Our intention was to watch and we have seen enough. Corypheus threatens us all and the Inquisition is Thetis's only hope for stopping him. Remember that. For the moment, we are not your enemy. As a gesture of goodwill, we share our knowledge. May it prove valuable in your coming battle. On behalf of powers across the sea, the executors. We got it. Master Demon Slaying Room. Ah! What is this? Investigate Elven Ruins. Inquisition contacts report a group of elves investigating ruins in the Emerald Graves. The ruins may be connected to the Emerald Knights, an order of elven warriors that predates the fall of the Dales. The history contained within would be of great value to the Dalish. The Emerald Graves has been experiencing unrest of late. If a small delegation met with the elves and offered assistance in their search, it would prove an opportunity for cooperation between the Inquisition and the Dalish, strengthening our reputation with the clans of Orle. So Cullen's the only one that can do it. If a few of our soldiers are scouting nearby, we can divert them to the elves' location. A few of our soldiers met with the elves at Dinan Hanang, the elven ruins in the Emerald Graves. The, their leader, Tavin, wishes to work with us as a sign of cooperation between the Inquisition and his clan. However, some of his party are wary of our presence and the Inquisition's intentions. Our interest in strengthening our relationship with the Dalish would appear more genuine if you met with them in person, Cullen. So a new area is unlocked. But it's not, okay, so this is not a fast travel. It will show up when we are, when we go back to the Emerald Graves. That makes sense, okay. Help yourself to a sock from the basket, but only one. <laughs> Would you consider allowing me to acquire your hand? Are you serious? <laughs> After your death, of course. Worship? Well, I left and I came back, so... Let's just double check he's not down here. Oh! Ha! That's awesome! I return, Inquisitor, as does the Quizquisition. Mm -hmm. It begins now, and there is a timer. A blight is signaled by the rise of an archdemon, a corrupted old god. Name the archdemon of the fifth blight. Oh, frick. None of those. Not Dumat. Uthemiel. I think it's Uthemiel. None of those. It's Uthemiel. 
The creature's name was Athemiel. Correct. Well played. The quizquisition? Yes! ...is completed. And you have done so... ...perfectly. You may have an inadequate grand prize. Quizquisition... ...away! <laughs> we have the spoon! The spoon. The spoon is a weapon. Spoon is a... no? Where are you, Spoon? There you are. Warrior only. It's a two-handed weapon, so only Bull can have it? Spoon was hewn by a madman with a rune. I'm immune, he would croon. Celebrating all too soon. He'd impong and lapoon, thinking fate so... I have never seen that word picayune. A tycoon made buffoon by one stricter than the coon. What did Mama say about the rhyming? Mama said you'd get the spoon. <laughs> okay. Target explodes for 75% weapon damage? What? What, what does Bull currently have? Oh, that's... that's... I don't... I don't know that I can make that sacrifice. I could put a rune on it. Anyway, that's what that gets you. Okay, back to here. Who did we have? <laughs> we had Sarah, Blackwell, and Cole. I think. Alright, I have decided. Oh, it dropped us all the way back here? I want to go back. Why are there two exclamation points? What? is Johnson ah your worship just watching out for local wildlife little glory but it has to be done it's just one bear that's become a problem a huge one great bigger than I've ever seen it's rampaged through camp a few times ripping apart our supplies one of our workers broke his leg trying to get away next time we might not be so lucky it must be upset that we're in its territory it's it or us, so far as it's concerned. So can we move camp or something? I'll wait here. If the bear comes, I'll try to run it off before it reaches camp. Great. All right, so we gotta find the bear. I'm not talking to you. Dispatch for you. No. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. Andraste's light. Where did we find the camp? This is Andraste's Mercy. Okay, and then we camped all the way up here. Let's go get the bear. Since we're here. Oh, I wanted... I wanted... Uh... You know what? I was gonna take Solace, but let's allow for some opportunity here. Ooh, what about black? What about um? I love Cassandra, but um, let's, let's, let's go with these guys. This sounds like a better, better opportunity for party banter. And if it takes half an hour again, I'm gonna be upset. I'll get this guy, you guys get that one.
no resources? No one dropped any loot for me? <laughs> I'm the only mage. Oh gosh. I'm really sorry, Bear. Andraste's Mercy, which is all the way up here. Well, actually, yeah, Andraste's Mercy. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to follow that one guy's journal. Mm. Oh, okay. So this is the thing we need for all kinds of stuff. Proof of Fairbanks nobility. So we'll figure it out. I'm going to walk so that uh, we can get some party banter. Okay, so. Colin's ready to put in. Alright, so we had. It was 100 steps from Andraste's Mercy, and I am going to use the wiki to help with this. The next clue is found by searching southwest between the segment of outer wall and a large tree. Okay. Southwest. Southwest. Down this way ish. This way. That's not southwest. That's not the. Where's the compass? That's not southwest. That's almost completely west. Am I? Am I looking at this right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. That's where it's. We'll try it. Maybe closer to the wall. Okay. Ooh, picking up rocks or not segment of the wall in a large tree that didn't seem like 100 paces maybe this tree this is... I don't know Okay, I looked up a video, and I think it's about there, which is not southwest in any way, shape, or form. Unless there's some kind of wonky compass. So, it is this tree. Okay. Let's take a look. Inscribed on the strange cube, a crew of three. So... Nope. Okay, just so I don't have to dig through the codex and figure out where the heck his journal is. Um, according to the wiki, number three is arching above outstretched wings, even stone can rise. So it sounds like uh, maybe a pavilion? We were here. Actually, let's let's do a uh, let's grab this camp and then go back up. All right, we may just be going to the pavilion. Yep. The music got very interesting just now. What is that? A statue? That's huge. Excuse me. We're good, we're good. 
Got it. Uh, what? Oh! Hey! Oh! That staff may or may not be useful. That was actually some rather decent loot. Outstretched wings. I don't see any outstretched wings. But maybe inside. No. And I'm not getting... I'm not getting a search function. Um, so you can cheat with this quest. Um, one of the final clues, the last three clues, is to light these torches in the correct order, but I think if you cheat, you don't get the end result. So let's see. So let's head back that way. There's a there's a statue that we are looking for specifically. Yeah, this might be there. Oop, what's this? Mushroom. That's an owl statue. That was described. Follow the road towards the pavilion. Passes through a gap in the rocks with the statue of an owl. Climb up the rocks. Arching above outstretched wings. So it wants us to, to climb the archway, I see. Number nine, carved into the surface of another cube. Number nine is Dragon Slayers. Four at the northwest, two from the northeast, and three from the southwest. This is this is the pavilion. This is the pavilion. You were trying to fix it. It isn't your fault. What isn't my fault? They wanted Blackwall, not Rainier. That's why the others are angry. Angry? Really? I thought I was just imagining all the frowning faces. Care to tear into me as well, now that you know? No. You who heal the helpless. You're not angry about what I was hiding. You never hid from me. Mockingbird, Mockingbird, too many voices in the carriage. Maker, they're young. If I tell my men to stop, they'll know it was all a lie. Cold, trapped, heart hammering like axes on a carriage door. Stop, please. So Cole knew the entire time. Which is, um... We got the, the party banter where Cole says, you're dangerous too, and Black Cole says, what? <laughs> um, there's one where he actually sings, I think it's the Mockingbird song, and Black Cole says, where do you know that? And Cole says, the children sang it. There's another one. Oh, I think he says, um, you would stop it if you could, and don't do it again. And so I think that was also a reference. So Cole knew the entire time. Just so you are aware. And that was 25 minutes. We're getting party banter every 25 minutes. <laughs> I'm not happy about it. Okay. Uh, okay, so... You have to treat this as north. And the riddle was four at the northwest. So four is here. One. Two. Three. Four. 
two at the northeast. One, two, and three from the southeast. One, two, three. They're all it. Big box. Twenty is penned in red. Okay. 20 is at the first breath of size. Head north from the pavilion to an area called Rush of Size in the River. Follow this river northwest until you reach a waterfall. So it's not the one that we've already been to. Head north, which would be this way. Let's head in a this way kind of direction. And but then also head north-ish. See if we can find this river. I also kind of want to let's, let's make a loop. I'm gonna make a loop. If we can even get to that. Grace fine. I have laundry going on in the background and I think the microphone picks it up and I apologize. <laughs> huh. Okay. Camp is in a this way direction. Eh. Oh, there's another statue. What is the exclamation point? Take it. Map of Algernon's Bastion. Okay. Is a man asked his lover to meet him in Grace Vines so they can run away together to go to the Grove. And then we'll just kind of loop our way around. I don't want to select. There we go. That'll get me there. This way. They made it. Pronto hide. Okay. Quest completed. Whoa, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm assuming that that is to tell us that they were eaten by a spider. Great! Great! What's next? That. Hi, Nug! You better move, Nug! Brush of thighs. Oh, freaking terror demons! That is not what I meant to do. Oh my god. Fine, everything's fine. Give me this. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, no more terror demons. Get this one. Oh, and now we have pride and despair. Heck. 
There was something under the waterfall, just not the one that we checked. The guy was at the overall waterfall. Okay, number 14. An upward pointing finger, there your heart lies. Head northeast to South Finger Tower on the southwest side. Head northeast, which would be this way, and there's a tower somewhere. Probably where that red larium is. King's tomb. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we will get over there. All right, let's let's we're gonna head. We're gonna get this, and then we're gonna go get Samson. Everything is working out. Um, pretty sure I can't jump through here. No. No, you're gonna make me go around. Hopefully there's something that will let me do that. Oh jeez. Apparently I needed to collect a certain number of blood lines. Okay. That'll work. Thank you. I guess that way would be straight to Samson. It would. Yeah, I wanna I wanna get this though. Let's go get it. Oh jeez. Very chest and exchanging it for the burden of everyone hating me yes so much better hey i don't hate you you and me we are good now that you know who you are you can stop doubting yourself and start hitting crap again why don't we hit a few bottles first huh <laughs> so that was 13 minutes so hey i don't know maybe it fixed itself all right, Samson is in a this way direction. And I won't hurt you if you don't hurt me. How about that? There's a dragon. What the frick? Well, I saw it for about half a second, but there's a dragon. 
Master Kells, the new client wants double the red lyrium shipped last time. The contract said it was for someone called Samson. I met him during the last trip, got a Templar feel off him, although the armor he wears doesn't look chantry. Still, his coin's good, and he doesn't preach. Toby. Another letter on the smugglers referring to Samson. So we got one more to find. There's a giant. I see you. What else is left? Okay, that's elf root. And that's whatever that is. Okay. Oh, there is loot. There we go. Dragon. Red Lyrium. Where the frick are you? It's so hard to see. Okay. Um, Red Lyrium. So possibly that way. Where's the other Samson one? All the way down there. See if we can't finish what we're doing here. 